This is uh, the first world, Harathensi, which is the largest and wealthiest community. Um, we have our queen, played by Nicole Kidman. We have our king, played by Ethan Hawke. His brother, played by Clay's Bang. And um, we have uh, young Prince Amleth, who then becomes our lead, uh, the fantastic Alexander Skarsgård. Um, this community <clears throat> really illustrates high status Viking clothing. Um, it has luxurious costumes. Um, a Queen Guthrin and King Orvindil definitely have the most evidence of high status. In Land of the Rus, um, the Vikings are dressed in uh, with a more Eastern influence. So their tunics are linen um, and not decorated with tablet weaving to the same extent as you would see in um, Harathensi, which is, um, you know, tunics made of wool and decorated with tablet weaving. Um, there's a huge battle in Land of the Rus. We see our berserkers first in their, um, I guess, normal everyday Viking wear when they land, and then we see them that night in um, fur costumes. They have personas that are either wolf or bear, and Amleth has his own very special version, which is a combination of the two. The idea being that the wolf um, our personalities that uh, are intelligent and speedy, perhaps a bit more wily, and the bear is the brute force, the strength, and, and his is a combination of the two, and consequently his costume was twice as heavy as all the other actors. Both of these worlds, Viking and Slav, is very difficult to research because there are not um, many surviving pieces, and they are literally pieces. There is no, there's not one complete garment, and there certainly is not one complete outfit in, um, um, for Viking research. So the Slav research um, <clears throat> sort of presented itself um, bit by bit by bit. It was incredible, actually, to be on set. You know, there is so much detail and so much energy spent on trying to, um, you know, make the costume sets, props, everything as authentic as possible. And then when you add to that the horses, the stunts, the camera work, it was really, you know, like being shot back in time. Fulner's character, unlike the king, his brother, does not have the same taste for uh, conspicuous consumption and wealth. He um, he works. He worked as a more as a foreman for his brother when he was at Harathensi, and here he works to benefit his family. He he's dressed well. He's dressed in high status colors, which at the period would have been matter root red or blue. Uh, blue created from all of this is, is plant dyed material. Um, so that would be created from woad or indigo. And the greens, which are from uh, Retzetta and indigo mixed. Um, I mean, really complicated and amazing um, material textile production. You know, it was, it was one of the commodities that Vikings um, really valued. Uh, it took a very long time to collect the wool, to spin the yarn, to then weave on these vertical looms that were uh, what the Vikings used. We see this in, in our research because there um, are so few uh, actual examples. Our research uh, comes from um, artwork at the period, so things that are uh, images that are engraved in metal or carved in wood or woven into tapestries. And so we tried to, uh, we did really uh, keep that in mind with the silhouettes. And it was pretty thrilling actually to, you know, research and research and then and then get to the, the um, work of making all of these costumes and then come across a reference months later and think, Ah, it's another example of, you know, the line of that dress or, you know, it's 
real geek stuff. We have sort of small side scenes that happen and they are with supernatural characters, magical characters. We have a Valkyrie, um, we have a sorcerer, and uh, we have a warrior king who is um, a mound dweller who uh, possesses the magical sword Dragur that Amleth must um, steal in order to be able to carry out his um, revenge. So the research and certainly the fabrication for those costumes was really fun and, um, and, and difficult. We also have a, 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 an area in the film called Place of Visions and um, that is, those are characters, um, five um, performers who were dressed in clothing and armor uh, from periods ranging from 50 AD to 750 AD. And they're meant to be dead, so their, their distressing and breakdown was um, an incredible job. Plays Bang, who plays Fulner in Herafensi. Uh, at the top of the film, um, Clays actually wears one of my favorite costumes, if not my favorite costume. It is for the assassination scene. He wears a shaggy cloak, which is, um, which actually was a commodity that um, Vikings traded. Its, its um, value came from the fact that it was made from the long hairs of the Icelandic sheep, the tog, and that was woven into a blanket um, additionally to the, to the wool that the face of the blanket was made from. And so this rendered it incredibly warm, obviously really important in, in that climate, and um, waterproof. So for a seafaring nation, that was also very valuable. So these Verifeldir were traded as a commodity along with Vadmel, along with gold, along with silver, along with slaves.